Frank, what's one reason you use the Dock Demon a lot when you're fishing heavy cover? Well, uh, one thing I love about it is they're indestructible. You can't break this rod. I'll see it bend. Look at that. You cannot break that rod. You can't. I'm telling you. Um, you know, great action, great bend, just sturdy. They're going to stand the test of time. Get yourself a Dock Demon. Right here, just going to give you a quick tip in the summertime out here. The water's real warm. We're out here fishing heavy timber. A lot of times, people are throwing six foot, six, seven foot, even seven foot, seven and a half foot rods. One of my tricks is I use a dock demon, and the reason is when you're flipping, sometimes your rod tip hits, the, hits those limbs, it makes it a little tough to flip. This thing, I'm telling you, you can catch some big fish on this. All right, I mean, fish bigger than this rod. Okay, and so we're going to give that a shot today. I'm flipping a creature bait on this dock demon here, and uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Same principles apply. You're still working that worm on the bottom there, and you know, I put a, I like to put a 15 pound leader on there, and uh, four to six pound test as your main lines, your main spool, but. We've got locals running by here. You guys get a swarm of bees? All right, text me. And here he comes, right here. We got him. We got him, folks. Let that rod do the talking, let it bend, and let them fight. You're gonna have to really play them. This is why you use a 15 pound leader on that four to six pound test. Now, did you notice, I got this fish here. You can still bow flip with the, this rod. Okay, this is a, solid fish here but did you notice if i would have set the hook i was so close to that timber that uh i might have hit my rod tip so that's where that dock demon comes in handy right there you see that hook set man these dock demons i mean it's just a little hidden secret of that's a good fish to blast them just like that and here he comes this is not a giant fish but just boat flip those. There you go. Boy, are they eating it. Nice fish on the old dock demon. A lot of fun. And you can really, you can really fish wherever you want to fish. I mean, look at this. You know, nothing, nothing going sideways. This is just a short rod. Flip it right in there, right next to that cover right there. Let your bait do the talking. I got one. There he is. There he is. This is a little better fish here. This is why you have that 15 pounds. I mean, I'm telling you, people think it should be reversed. 15 pound, a little bit lighter, lighter leader. But man, look how easy they're coming in. I mean, there he is. You can still boat flip him because of that leader. Right there. Doc Demon fishing out here. Suspended Timba. Uh, hot summer. You can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. Tore up my creature bait. I'm going to have to switch. One thing you got to do, check your line often, okay? Because you can't, you can't afford to be uh, breaking your line on fish. Stick around. Hey, guys. Uh, Frank Snagger here. That's good fish. Uh, Lester was talking to you about the Dock Demon. This is a pretty similar model. This is actually an ice fishing model. Take it with me everywhere I go. I mean, you never know when you're going to get into some thick cover and you just got to use it. So um, that's what we've been doing out here, flipping the Dock Demon. Let's see if we can catch another uh, fish or two. I'm a little on the fence about this spot. I don't know if there's any fish over here, but we'll check it out. Fish. Got him. There he is right there. There he is, folks. Get on the Dock there Demon. There he is, folks. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Dock Demon 101, folks. I. Whoa, hey, hey, watch out. I have actually, I, I have actually used fish about this size as bait with um, dog demon. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, great for catfish, really. Really good rod. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Larry Ripola, he's going to talk about why he's using the dock demon. Well, first of all, thanks for having me out. That's a good fish. 
I got the Dock Demon here. The reason I like it is, you know, they say it's about the size of the rod. I don't necessarily believe that. I mean, look at this thing. You don't have to worry about the backbone setting the hook because oh. you've got the backbone right here in your hands. It's all tip and backbone. How's the sensitivity of them? You feel, I mean, are you feeling everything all right? Oh, yeah. Every little branch. Not any bites right now, but every branch down. <laughs> got him. <laughs> oh, Larry Rapala. Oh, look at him. There's a drag. You need to... You need to loosen it. <laughs> I'm on a boating. <laughs> yeah. thing you can do with this dock demon, it's great for flipping. It's great for flipping jigs, worms, creature baits. You've seen that. You've seen the evidence. I love casting crankbaits with it. And one reason is you get a lot of air on your cast. Um, it's so easy to cast. And you can throw a smaller crankbait and it still gets deeper because you're throwing it on a little bit lighter line and a little bit shorter rod. So we're fishing this little flat here. We've caught a lot of fish. Now let's see if we can catch one on the dock demon. Look how easy that casts. I mean, it just flows out of the rod. Keep your rod up, keep your rod down. It doesn't matter. Look at that. <gasps> dock demon. Wow. Wow. I still got him because I hooked, I got such a good hook in him. I mean, they are loving the dock demon. Look at this thing. Bam. We need the net. We need the net. Let's net this one, Frank. Right. He come off. Oh. Well, you saw it. You saw it multiple times. This thing, I can't say it anymore. It catches fish. All right. I'm just parallel on this bank. He hit it right when it hit the water. Check it out. You know. There he is. Dot demon. Oh my gosh! That was a big one. You know, nothing you can do in those, I mean, you could use a longer rod, but, you know, my question would be, you know, would I have felt that fish without the dock demon? And, and that's the thing, you gotta, you gotta weigh it, it's a scale. Do I use a longer rod, maybe get that fish in? Or do I use a, a smaller rod and maybe, maybe feel the fish a little bit better? Because they're very subtle, they're, they're, they're barely hitting it. I really like using these rods for topwater frog. Um, really picks up a long line. You can make really long casts and hook them with a frog. A lot of people think you can't. Just stick a braided leader on there to that four to six pound line. You can cast at a country mile and you can catch a big fish. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's a good fish. I love that. the duck, whatever it's called. Duck I love the duck. <laughs> 